Oh my, that was launched. Second shot here on the first. This would be a great up and down. Oh, well played. Judging it beautifully. And that should secure the par on this one. He finds himself in a share of 13th. The par five awaits here, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Second shot on the second. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Club up. I like this play. I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. Wow, that almost went in the hole. That's a high-quality recovery shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three, to say the least. Going with the five wood. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. And this one for back to back birdies. Starting to look really good. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Currently a couple under for the event. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four.
players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swim. Time for the second shot here at the four. went in here's a putt to move into a share of top spot on the leaderboard our work here is done let's head to the next hole and with that he'll move to three under par he's currently tied for first let's see what happens here at the fifth dog legs from right to left the big danger here is the green three different tiers on this green find the correct one you'll have a birdie opportunity miss it and it's going to be a difficult two putt oh that's a sweet looking swing that one And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Wind starting to get up, but it's helping, which is nice. That one should find the surface. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Little birdie look in here. This one started out on a good line. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to four under. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Here we are at the sixth hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green, you can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston's a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. to have opted for the eight iron. No 
nicely done. A chance to move to five under par. That is hunting for the hole. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Second shot here on the seventh. Wonderfully played. Sitting at five under for the day. Currently in the lead. Lovely effort, that. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Looking good. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And that will move him to six under par. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling. Par three and a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Beautiful swing there. That was a bit of a miscue. Lots of greens in regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. Yes! Hold it! And a chip in, Luke. Just what the doctor ordered. Why not take another look at that effort? Beautifully judged. Great tempo on this chip.
leading by four strokes after that one. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Oh, look at that. You don't want that ball back. Playing from around 160 yards. Next shot straight back into the teeth of the wind. And choosing the eight iron here. This one's going to the right. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Wynn got that one and took it wayward. Oh, what a super shot. Nothing like it. Good stuff. And let's have one more look at that shot. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Playing from around 110 yards out. This one looks like it's going left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Is tracking. Okay, steady now. That's yeah, just about three feet away. He's got this for his part. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. He's currently sitting in first place. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well.
Bad got a little out of control, I think. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Well, that'll play. Ah, nicely done. Great chip. And it's time to recap that play. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. There's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. It is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Good looking shot, this. Sitting at nine under par, currently leading. Opting for the five wood. Yep, that shot safely on the green. That would be back to back birdies for this player. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Setting up this putt 25 feet from the cup. Tweet, tweet. This is for two birdies. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. Back to back board. He's never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. Not a bad line, this one. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. Going with the eight iron here. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine.
Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes in the hole the whole way. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. What an amazing putt from way out. Still in the lead now after that hole. This hole is a long par four. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. Oh, great swing there. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich. And it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. This is an extremely long putt. We might even have to hinge on this one. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Ooh. That'll sting a bit. Just a four footer remaining. Good putt that. Leading by six strokes after that one. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Par four, and a fun little par four at that, just 421 yards from the back. Fairly careful. Absolutely tattooed that one. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Puff of breeze moving this golf ball left to right. Needs a little members bounce to the right. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And it goes in. Great shot. Oh, got to love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. And let's have another look at that one. Yeah, they were looking at an up and down, but just down.
Currently 12 under for the round. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Par three. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. Going with the six iron here. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Putting for birdie here. Come on, ball, don't deny him. Ooh, right by the hole. And this putt coming up for his par. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. And he's down there. And a little bit of breeze ruffling the old hair, and it's coming straight on. Going with the pitching wedge here. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. And a fantastic look upcoming. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC boss could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. That's a good-looking shot there. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, the equation's pretty simple. If you chip this in, you'll win the event. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? 
Seven feet to the cup. And they've done it. What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure-packed tournament. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.